Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, I'm down here a ton going to the Opolis and the Delhi. I just played like a solo show there, show, I don't know, solo show there a couple of weeks ago. And yeah, we're all out and about for the most part. I mean, he had a child. Yeah, this week, I've so been in the hospital all week. He's been. Whoa! I, I, my son was born on Tuesday. Hey, Mazel hey. Tov! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we literally got discharged yesterday, and the next day I'm going to play at a festival. Right. So well, that's I haven't good been timing. in Norman at all for the past yeah. month. Cause they, okay. Thank you to the baby mama for timing <laughs> exactly. that. Yeah, absolutely. That would have been very <laughs> selfish of her to, uh, to, make to be going into labor on music. Norman yeah, Music Festival. That, been, right. that was a little bit of a scare that it could happen, but it all worked yes. out in the best way possible. So. Right. Is this the biggest stage you guys have ever uh, played well, we here? Played, we played the Sooner Theater last year, and then mm -hmm. we played Main Stage the year before that. But How did you guys feel about playing Sooner Theater? Because I just saw a ton at Sooner Theater, and I loved it. I thought it looked beautiful. It sounded great but I was so upset that I didn't get to dance. Well, that's the thing that yeah. our show last year, during our first song, everybody was sitting down, and then there was about three people that all of a sudden stood up and walked to the front, so then like three or 400 people all came to the front and, and then up. And then everybody, everyone who was sitting down eventually ended up just Yeah, there's the nobody, front. like there's, there, if you wanted to sit down, you sat down in the back, but for the most part, everybody was up front and close. So it was I really could have just cool. been yeah. that you person. Been that yeah, person. exactly. Oh. One person got up, One then person two more, then three the more, and then everyone ended up, this, like, this yeah. flood came in. That was Dang. great. That no, was that awesome. would have been Moment. That would have been so yeah. great. That, that was, was definitely one of my highlights of Norm Music Fest is when everyone just got up and came. Like, yeah. Whatever, we're going to do it. And they yeah. all just came and right. but, uh, but we really <laughs> like playing. I mean, we played in like a lot of churches and played in a lot of things like that around yeah. the world. So it's like, I really like those kind of shows because I feel like it makes people forced to listen. To, yeah, it's extent. more of yeah. like... You have to like actually sit and. It's a different kind of audience. Yeah, like, you have to cater definitely. To that. So I mean that's kind of how we were, and then we're like, oh okay, well everybody wants to dance, so we'll, we'll hype it right. up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, the energy is definitely different for those two different types of settings. Do you guys? Okay, this is maybe not about you at all so much as kind of the way the music industry is going. It seems yeah. like it's trending more towards like music, like like the big names are just playing like music festivals, and then yeah. maybe yeah. some like weird small shows in big cities. Yeah. But I don't really. I, Ugh, I don't like seeing bands like in the middle of the day and they're hot and I'm yeah. hot and yeah. so is that, how do you guys feel about like music festivals us, in general? Uh, I mean, we love them. I mean, they're really they're, they're <laughs> yeah. good. They're good for a different thing. I mean, it's like that, when you're yeah. playing a festival, it's a festival show. So you're playing for a lot of different people and a lot of people that might not normally see you. Where if we're playing at the Opolis, we're playing like a smaller venue. It's like that's our show. So we curate the set list a little bit differently. We, it's like we want to give our fans those shows. Where, and so it's just a different yeah. vibe. It's like, like as a band, when you when you play at a festival, to me, it's it's a little more impersonal just because there's so many people so you you put forth a set list and, and you go and play but I, it and it's fun it's awesome it's obviously it's a rush playing for so many people but my favorite kind of shows are playing in clubs when you actually get to like feel the audience and you can see right. everyone and yeah yeah i saw jeff mangum at diamond ballroom oh, yeah and it was it was amazing was awesome. because for one, a lot of people know Neutral Milk Hotel, but if you but you had to know that Jeff Mangum was in Neutral Milk yeah, Hotel exactly. to go. Yeah. And so, so all, it was all super everyone fans. knew <laughs> all the lyrics to Neutral Milk Hotel songs, which I feel like are not no. like there's weird yeah. lyrics. Like yeah. the fact that everybody in the crowd was just like so on the same page. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess that's like a, it, it's good to have and shows like that, but then it's good to energies, yeah. But it's also right. great to reach new people at festivals too. Yeah. That's so I think right. That are just there because yeah. they want to get a good spot yeah. for I the think, person after you. Yeah. yeah, I think at the end of the day, we're just happy to be playing at any festival Absolutely. or any show at all. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Right. So, do you guys? Would you guys still kind of feel like you were being successful even if you weren't touring with El King and playing yeah, on the I biggest think, stage? Think, Is yeah, that I mean, what? What are you in it for? The music. I mean, that's what yeah. we started when we were 15 years old. It was. I mean, we. We've been a band and we've been playing together for nine years and yeah. it's like the success or anything like that has only been the last two years. So it's like it, we were driving yeah. without anything behind us as for a long time. As cliche as it sounds for the love of music yeah. and it's what writing we, music that we want to hear and that we enjoy playing with each other. And I mean, it's almost like sitting down and having a good conversation with a friend yeah. and just writing the music for the sake of writing the music. And I would define success as being happy with what we're doing. And Exactly. And I think a, yeah. I think a big part of it is like, we don't necessarily know why we're successful in a lot of yeah, ways. It's like, I don't know why a ton of people want to come to a show or see us at a festival, but it's amazing that they do. And all we can do is just give them the best show that we can offer them and play music that we love playing and hope Absolutely. that people keep loving it. So. Yeah.
it's very it's a very cool feeling it's like so from a songwriting perspective are you kind of the, the leader it's very, of that or yeah i mean i write all the lyrics but for the music and everything like that it's a very like i might come with a song idea and bring it to the band but it morphs and the, it changes in a lot it, of different ways he'll write comes, a bass part yeah. that we can write around Berto will play drums or alex will you know it's like everybody throws in ideas and the song that i initially bring is never the same how it starts so it's like, yeah and it's, it, it's very it can morphing. come from anywhere yeah. I'm, it, at any we we'll just be jamming before practice one day like we'll have a rehearsal for a show and we'll just be jamming to warm up for practice and someone will turn on their iphone and like record it and we'll and be in the van on to. tour and someone will pull it up we'll be listening like, oh we should do something with that like yeah. it could even come from there yeah so there's a lot of different ways that the songs are written there's not yeah it's, it's no one but yeah it's very natural yeah, yeah right right and so wait so you guys grew up, up together, together yeah and then both decided to come we moved up yes. here together so to shout ACM. out to acm uco for absolutely 100 being a making great us move up here. program <laughs> drawing people to oklahoma yeah, exactly. yeah i mean we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for ACM. it wouldn't yeah, yeah we wouldn't have right also. <laughs> but Denton probably growing up in the, because Denton has kind of a good like solid yeah, scene, scene, like oh, historically, yeah. made, that's like a good yeah, place. Yeah, we've made a lot of good friends with there. We've put, we've gone on tour with this band Midlake, who are like veterans of Denton, and our label owner actually is like a huge fan of Denton, which started the yeah. whole conversation of us even in the first place. Signed, yeah, yeah, even talking to him at all. So it's like Denton was a huge part of our career, just as much as Oklahoma. So it's it's a cool balance of both. Right. Yeah. Okay, so what bands like for the for the listeners and for viewers, listeners, okay. if you're trying to check out like the best bands featured at Norman Music Festival this year, like who who do you need to either go see before it's over or look up on uh, Spotify? Because you I, saw, I came down here last night. I saw Gabriel Knight Hancock. He's a good friend of ours. He's absolutely amazing. He played the Blue Bonnet yeah, Bar last night. We awesome. played a cup one show with him before. He's phenomenal. Obviously. The Talos, the dear people. Yep. Everybody likes that. It's uh, like, I'm a huge fan of Giraffe Massacre. Speak Memory is really awesome. Yeah. Huge fan of Naturalist. I really like them yeah. too. Uh, Space Release. Yeah, they're, Space Release they're guys. Really yeah, they're awesome. really awesome. <laughs> and then uh, Nikki Lane is playing right after us on the main stage. Uh, we've played a festival with her before and she's phenomenal oh, as well. Oh, right so, on. Yeah. All right, so what's next for Horse Thief? Um, well, we're putting out a record later this year yep. and um, just touring. Um, we start. The touring season for us kind of starts in mid June. Yeah. So what are you gonna that. do with your baby, dude? Uh, well, I shout out to uh, my wonderful fiance for being such a beautiful and understanding person <laughs> yeah. because she's 100% supportive of it, which I thought she was joking until she was <laughs> until the conversation came up to where I might have had to leave on tour like two days after our son was due to be born. And she was like, I'm okay with that. If you're okay with that, I'm okay with that. I'm like, no, I'm going to be here for the... <laughs> she she was so brave. Yeah, she's she brave, was, she's awesome soul, yeah. absolutely 100% supportive. And I wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for her, like, just absolutely being... I keep saying the word supportive, just that for her being so on board with everything. And she knew what she signed up for. Right, so. right. So then you guys kind of, like, you know, go off come back in in a few months or yeah it'll be like weeks at a time yeah, yeah. oh so we'll okay well that's a good way to do it yeah we'll do it, break it into chunks yeah. Mm-hmm. so yeah we'll be doing like a full u.s base. tour and everything like that i guess that's year. the upside of being based in oklahoma is that yeah, it's pretty clo- central yeah, right we want to go to la or new york city yeah, yeah. Distance, so. are you are you planning on probably staying based in oklahoma? yeah as far, we don't have any plans to move uh, as of now so part of your thing well we're so glad that you that you're all on. willing to hang out with yeah, us spotify yes. itunes you guys don't have a band camp i uh, we do not have a band camp but everything's on soundcloud for the most part and there's yeah. a website there's a website there's a Facebook. yeah yeah Every, all if you type in horse thief on media, google yeah. you'll figure it out yeah it's all there somewhere two words two words two words horse thief yes. where does that it comes from a book of hiking trails from my grandparents' cabin in Creed, Colorado, that me yes. and him were searching for a band name for. So oh, was just well, before that's, we moved up here. Yeah. That's a hard picking a band name is hard. It is. We it, were. It, um, it found us though, so it did. We're, we're all it good. Did. Me and the Costello people were talking about how um, Gum was playing yeah. up there, but I guess one of the Tame Impala guys just also decided to call his side project Gum. Yeah. But like, there's so many bands. Yeah, so many bands. So many bands. One minute. So they're little giving time. us the one minute finger. We're getting, ones, saying, we're getting on. ones all over the place. Yeah. No, it's the Boomer Sooner uh, 
O K L A M O N. I don't know that. <laughs> I personally don't know. Yeah, that. no, you guys are from <laughs> OU. You guys are. My brother UCL. went to OU, but I don't. Yes. I don't know. The, I don't know the chance. I clearly also don't know the chance or how to spell <laughs> Oklahoma. I think yeah. I just spelled it wrong. That's okay. But um, thank you guys so much for being thank here. You everybody, for wait. Us. Where can everybody check out? Your 8 p.m. the Bud Light Depot stage. You can't yes. miss it. Can't it's miss real it. It's big. Right down there. It's next to the train station. So just follow the train sound. You'll, right. You'll follow it the out. train sound. Yes. <laughs> and follow the the horse thief sound. Yes. Great. Cool. Well, awesome. good luck Thank with you. your yeah. set. You've been listening Seven. to KXOU or watching <laughs> OU TV or maybe watching and listening at the Two. same time. We're out. <laughs> Well, okay, so um, can I real quick ask you guys to say um, we are Horse Thief and you're listening to KXOU? KXOU, K -X -O -U. yeah, I can say it. KXOU. Okay, do I need to look at a certain camera? Yeah, um, look at look at that one, the I guess. The middle one or the, the right one? Yeah, it's a... I'll look at the okay, right yeah, one. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> hey, we're Horse Thief and you're listening to KXOU. KXOU. Okay, great.